So I just watched this video with Brian Denlinger that says that swearing is for the lost. And, uh... So anyways, he looks at this verse, one of these verses, where Peter's denying the Lord three times. And here's one in Matthew 26, verse 74. It says, Then began he to curse and swear, saying, I know not the man, and immediately the cock crew. Ryan Denlinger says that the cursing and swearing here is just like we would we would use the terms today, cursing and swearing, like somebody dropping the F-bomb or using obscene language, okay? So he basically is trying to say that Peter was, you know, dropping the F-bomb or saying curse words like that, what we would call curse words today. And I was thinking, you know, that's probably not even what that means. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, like, I wonder if, like, Brian Denlinger and, and people like him, like, interpret the scriptures and they just automatically think that when they see something like this, they think that it's automatically what they think that it means. And it's like, whereas, like, I approach scripture a lot of times, like, wondering if what I'm reading is not what I think that it means. And I'm, and I'm questioning, like, alternative uh, interpretations and stuff, you know. And then I have to, like, reassure myself of what, you know, I, I thought that the verse believed or whatever. So, anyway, so I thought I'd look this up in my figures of speech book. It wasn't in there. And then I just thought, well, I'll just look at the commentaries and stuff on here. The first thing, I go to Bible Hub, the first thing is I see the parallel verses, like in the other translations, just to see how they interpret it. And so instantly, I see here the New Living Translation. It says, Peter swore a curse on me if I'm lying. I don't know the man. So he's saying, calling down curses on himself if he's lying and then swearing that he doesn't know the Lord. So that's a completely alternative interpretation to what Brian Denlinger is saying, and this would make more sense. So it's nothing new with Brian, really, but just if anybody's curious, I would say that this is probably a more accurate interpretation of that than saying that Peter was cussing like a sailor, or, you know, Cussing up a storm. You know, here's Ellicott's commentary. I've actually thought about buying Ellicott's commentary because um, he's one of the people that I said believe that the day of the Lord happens at death. And, you know, it's like a spiritual, you know, which is what I believe. But I've looked at the commentary and it's like maybe he believed something else at the time or I don't know. Anyways, instantly he says here, we may infer from the two words that he used some common formula of extraction, what, execration, such as God do so to me and more also, which we see examples of in other verses, as well as by the oath formula, by heaven or by the temple. You see, that doesn't mean anything at all what Brian Denlinger is trying to say it means. Absolute craziness. And how many people listen to that and believe that? Well, Peter was cursing like a sailor. <sighs> wow. I mean, does he do, like, research at all? I'm wondering if he really does research. I, I wonder, you know. He just all the time making videos and stuff just you know thinking whatever I'm just gonna say whatever doesn't matter I mean in this day and age there's no excuse I mean I just went to Google and just typed this up in like five seconds I found out it's it's nothing like what he says it is so anyways I wouldn't be surprised if all these agree on that. I don't know. Hmm. 
Doesn't matter though. Uh, I would. You know, here's another one. By imprecating curses on himself if he spake not the truth. You know, that makes m much more sense. Hmm. Again, he cursed himself. He began to imprecate himself. So there's at least three or more of these commentaries already that are agreeing on this. He said, okay, so this makes even more sense too. Like previously... Peter had sworn like he doesn't know Christ or whatever, but now he's taking cursing on himself. So it's like getting more, you know, extreme there. The imprecations were intended to fall upon himself should he be found, that is, to be telling an untruth. You know, I love this. This is actually understanding what is really happening here, what this verse really means. Uh, so... This complete nonsense with Dinlinger. Anyways, God bless.